Okay, so y'all know at the end of my videos, I love doing the wholesome moment of the day. This dude right here was going to be the featured person for the wholesome moment of the day. This is Tyrone. Tyrone released his official NASA headshot. Some people were being divisive. Now, I didn't care because people was loving the representation. Like, say for instance, this lady right here says, I love my son can see representation of him. He dressed up as Victor Glover for his Black History program, but this, he can literally see himself. Here's a bigger picture. Young boy dressed up as an astronaut. This hurting me already, bro. Just thinking about this, dog. Damn, bro. But okay. But check this out here. So they're saying, well, that was fast. So my dog got hit with allegations like this. And I ain't gonna lie. They're pretty damning. So they're saying this person's on camera admitting to physically abusing his partner. Let's 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 see you, bro. Every time the camera come on, oh yeah, I just want to talk, baby. I just want to talk. I to you and then you wonder why everybody feel out. how they feel. When it comes to you being aggressive and abusive towards me. What the f are you being there? Over we're gonna have to pause a couple times because music playing in the background, I don't want the copyrights. What the f are you being there? Oh, we're gonna go there? Here, uh, this is what nine. I do, with guys. It's freaking ridiculous. I gotta even do this to make sure I'm protected and I'm safe. He looks drunk. Well, if that's the case, then maybe we shouldn't be together then, right? Fine, Tyrone. Fine. Or is that. Tell oh, him, oh, tell him, no, 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 tell him. Tell him, no, 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 tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I'm not telling nobody. If they, if they, tell him, tell him. If that's what you're saying, that's what we will do. That way I can keep my life. And my family's not paying $5,000 for me being a casket with black eyes and a broken neck from being strangled because you want to be aggressive. You're right. <sighs> Every time the camera come on, oh, yeah, I just want to talk, baby. I just want to talk. Oh, God. Whew. Men, women, be as good of a person as you can be because it will follow you. Let's get into some reactions. So this lady says, I can't imagine getting on here to see my abuser getting praised and congratulated. Funk him for real. They legit went digging to find anything on this young man and although it's unbelievable, it's really not It's practically par for the course in these situations. Then to have a tether magnified this is even more disingenuous. All that smoke for black American men but are quiet as church mouths when there's videos floating around on the hill of, black, of men back in their home countries beating the living daylight out of women as a sport to absolute nerve. So they, they, they've made it as far as the teens FBA versus the tethers and stuff. I'm FBA technically, but I still am the tether at the same damn time. All this stuff is stupid. We are better together than all this other stuff we be doing, bro. But let's keep pushing, man. The men on Twitter are not going to like this, but an abuser is an abuser, and I don't care how anyone feels. No, he shouldn't be able to enjoy the fruits of his labor when he's got victims living in fear and sadness. I was happy to see a black man winning, but not at the expense of a woman's joy. I have several things to say about that. You can grow but I, I can't lie if i find that somebody's like abusing women i can't rock with it. if i find a woman that beats on men i can't rock with it i don't like abusive people i don't like bullies i, I just i just can't rock with it i don't know i just can't rock with it nothing can, can justify it in my mind bro nigerian i'm not surprised this is so evil to bring up his past so they're responding to the person that posted like why y'all why do y'all politicize real life shit that doesn't negate from the point of someone making a mistake it's sad it had to come out in this way. As a straight black man, it's important to know that people will almost always judge your entire being off the lowest moments. Oftentimes, it's the people closest to you that are waiting for your success to drag you into the mud. Gotta move with wisdom, discernment, and courage and keep elevating despite our utter failures. Yeah. This lady says, or maybe just don't be an abuser. It's not even that hard. People may say maybe they were fighting each other. And he just won. I don't know because some things he was saying at some point in the video, he was trying to say she did some things too. I don't know. But as far as now, he's on trial. God damn. That's the tough thing about it, bro. We got to go above and beyond to protect ourselves. Don't swing, bro. Between the homies or the hood of the ladies, people may understand and justify your reason for swinging. But realistically, as far as the real world, it's going to hurt you, man. This person says, and it's not even like I think people should forever be treated like they can't do better. I don't believe in carceral punishment, but this evil ass man is completely denying all this happened by saying people are lying on him. He actively been trying to silence the woman he abused. 
And, you know, people are, it's, it's more women coming and saying they've had interactions with him in the past. And, and it's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy, bro. And that leads me to this right here. This person, this person saying, y'all posting your place of employment as a sign of black excellence. This is not the place to let people know where you work. I've said it so many times on my main channel. Separate your, your real life and social media life. Do not come to social media with your job if you're not going to be clean cut. Keeping it 100% because you will lose your job, especially if it's a good job. Y'all seen that one therapist who's not doing OnlyFans and several other things similar to that over the time? Stop doing that. Stop it, bro. It's not going to work out for you. Clicks and the views, the retweets, it's only beneficial if you are trying to be specifically a social media influencer. Find some other way to give validation because this can happen to you. But that's starting off the Black Twitter episode. I promise it's going to get much more entertaining than that. That was a little down one right there, but that's what's going on on Black Twitter. There's a lot more going on today. Let's get to the funny stuff, though. So homie says, every time I leave the hotel room, I always leave this to funk with the housekeepers, dog. <laughs> so he got, it look like a body tied up. <laughs> the head, the legs, I don't know, bro. That look, that look real as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. But that's funny as hell, too. That's funny as hell, too. But, but, but that ain't even a hotel. That's a motel, my boy. That's a motel. You doing your time, huh? That look like one of the places you slide to get a little sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky, you know? Me love you long time type action, you feel me? Next story. So, hey, this dude right here does a great impression of Shannon Sharp in Ocho, man. Check this out right here, bro. Ocho, my grandmother told me this one time. I was coming home from school. I remember just like it was yesterday. Yeah. She said, son, if you go swimming with a duck, eventually it'll take you under the water with it. Now, I'm going to have to take that and apply it to my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, Ocho, my, my grandfather told me this one day. I was coming home from football practice. I was on varsity starting in the sixth grade. Yeah. He say, son, if you close your ears and look straight ahead, you'll never hear the bull jab that's behind you. Can I use <laughs> that one? Can I have that one? Let me leave you with something here, Ocho. Okay, take me on a journey now. I was talking to my sister the other day, and you know, of course you know, everybody else know, my sister's probably the only one I listen to besides my mother. You know, I, my sister, she has a great place in my life. My sister told me the other day, she said, bro, if you ever associate yourself with a lame, your life will never be the same. Hmm. You spitting, boy. You spitting, boy. <laughs> you take that with you. Everywhere you go, you be all right. Trust me. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm taking that. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to thank everybody for tuning in on Nightcap. Make sure you tune in again next time. We'll be live. Me, your favorite aunt, Ocho. We'll be here ready to give you what you came to see, which is a great show. Great entertainment, sports, rap. Everything, life, life lessons and stuff like that. We here to give it all to you. Thank y'all. We'll see you next time. Hey, that was funny, sir. That's from B Watts TV. B W A T T S T V. Funny as hell. He's on Instagram. Go check him out. But that was a good ass, a good ass impersonation. Okay, so as y'all know, Kendrick Lamar this J. Cole and Drake on Future and Metro Boomer's album, We Don't Trust You on a song called Like That. Now they got a heckler. Pressing Drake and saying this to him outside several times. Pete, this right here. Yo, Drake, Kendrick's better, bro. Yo, yo, Drake, Kendrick's better, bro. Kendrick's better. Hell nah, bro. But I like the way this dude think. He says, hecklers like this are great for music because rappers are insecure as funk. He probably told the drivers to go straight to the studio, LOL. I hope so, my boy. I hope so. They say J. Cole on his way to the studio right now on that bike. Hey, boy. Get dumb. We needs that. Pause. But it's the crazy thing right here. They say, J. Cole witnessed his own diss track getting cooked up. Metro is a villain. Watch this. Level. Metro. Same shit, I, I was in the studio the other night um, and he was in there cooking up. I seen him cooking up and it's just like, ch -ch -ch. everything is just confident steps. You're not judging it, you're not thinking about it. This was from the very first night that this dropped. This is funny as hell. So they say Drake last night in Miami. Look at that boy, he kind of looking sick. I ain't gonna lie, hold on. Yeah, he looking a little sick, man. But that was paparazzi shots, bro. They say Ghost Rider wasn't picking up. <laughs> Y'all yeah, fucked up for that, man. So Metro Boomin actually liked this. Metro and K-Dot sent his verse back. 
<laughs> Facts though. Future Metro was in the studio like, you know who else don't like that nigga? <laughs> but this is so dope. They say it's great to hear Metro Boomin sent like that directly to Rodney O for approval. He owns the publishing for it too. So he's about to get paid. It's gotta be a crazy feeling to make a song and still make money off it almost 40 years later. So Rodney O produced the original track Everlasting Bass. First time I ever heard this beat was when Wayne rapped on on um, Drought 3. And I think Dipset may have rapped on it too. But Metro definitely did his thing with that sample. But check this out right here. Why hip hop is so fantastic in life is that last night there was a record that was released at around nine o'clock last night. It's called Like That. The record is Future Metro Boomer record, and it has a special guest on there by the name of Kendrick K. Dot. It's got the internet on storm, and it uses a beat. Very recognizable beat. Long story short, one and only Rodney O from Rodney O and Joe Cooley, but Rodney O, the producer behind Everlasting Bass, which yeah. is also the, the beat behind, but probably the biggest record right now, in the world today, Mr. Rodney O. The record company hit me up and um, they sent me the record. Well, they sent me an email saying that they wanted to use it and they were gonna send me a sample for me to approve it. So if I approve it, yay. If not, it's, it's dead in the water. So you get the call, you say, it's a full fire gun. Yeah, but they cut it off before Kendrick came oh, up. Nope. I think uh, Metro Boomer, he's a fan of my music because he used uh, Nobody Disses Me on 21 Savages, uh, Savage Mode 2 record. Okay. So he was already in the Rodney O and Joe Cooley bag, you know what I mean? As far as uh, messing with our old stuff. When you produce Everlasting Bass? 87. Hey, it's 2024. Dope hip hop, man. Metro always does his thing. Metro a beast. But yeah, like that by Future and Metro Boomin and Kendrick Lamar is challenging for a number one debut on the Billboard Hot 100. It will become the first lead number one for Metro Boomin and Kendrick and Future's third number one placements, respectively. I am so happy that Glorilla did this shit right here. So Glorilla was recently invited to the White House, and this was her interaction with President Joe Biden. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, well, right, Joe. But yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, Glo. You're the president, so we gonna say yeah, Joe. <laughs> okay, wholesome. I'm pretty sure he was told to do that, you know? Of course, you know, he listened to Goddamn Yeglo. But, um, yeah, yeah, so this happened after that when she was on CNN. The idea of them inviting you there in particular. Um, did they talk to you about what they wanted politically? Did they want your woman. endorsement? They want you to help people get out the vote? I love black women, I'm sorry. Hey, you know, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living my life like it's golden, living my life like it's golden. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, talk politics, but I love the president. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. And at the end of the day, the day got to end. <laughs> Count of an artist you are, how? Hey, she said, I'm not going to talk politics, and she gave us some damn bars. I respect it. Stop making rappers political figures. Stop it. End it. Even J. Cole said, why y'all expecting me to come and speak about George Floyd and all this shit like that? We have actual people that been put, they put in the work 365 days a year that do this shit. Why are you coming to me? Stop that shit. What are y'all doing? Y'all seen the situation we was in when Joe Biden had a conversation with, I think it was Joe Biden had a conversation with Cardi B? For what? Sexy Red said, y'all gonna bring back people trauma on here. So y'all remember this. This says, I am this old. They posted a goddamn Scantron. Bro, I used to hate the Scantrons, dog. Reason being is the, that I ain't always have a number two pencil every single day. In, in my damn school, like the number two pencil they give it, they'd be so damn, they felt so poor. I used to write with a mechanical pencil and stuff, but it wasn't always number two. So I used to hate this, dog. I had to ask somebody for the number, you got the number two pencil and stuff. And then you had to make sure you you bubbled it in the right way. Scantrons would be so annoying, but I used, I used to kill my test. I was never a dumb nigga. I used to always kill my test. Was never a dumb Negro. I was never the child you had to worry about being left behind. Never was that. And then you leave this and give me a writing test? Ooh, I'm smoking it. Someone may want to call me a nerd, but I don't care. Don't care. Next story though. So they say DDG is a sick over this. You gotta stay in the cold. You gotta stay ready. Always. It's gonna be freezing, nigga. It's gonna be freezing. It's just know when it's freezing, you're doing something, and when you're doing something, it counts. 
Hey man, he gotta get these jits on point, man. He got a he got a homie, little halo in the court already. I feel you though. So to say blood, I came outside and the drunk nigga in my car telling me to take him home. What the fuck is going on? Bro, who is you in my car, bro? Come on, take me home. Take me home. Take you home, bro. Who is you? Who is you, bro? Where did you come from? Yeah, whoa, whoa, my ass. Where did you come from? This guy sent me home. No. Take you home. Who is you? Where did you come from? This is not your car. This is my cousin's car. Yeah. So you need to get out the car. Where are we? Where are we? Are we? we, we are on, on, in the avenue. Did you get our shoes on right now? Where, where are you? Where are you at? Where did you come from? He said, where are we? Where are we? Where hey. Bro, fuck Bro, up. who is... Bro, it's fucked up. They said, I pulled out. My cousin told me he was mad at me. Called me an asshole. I'm an asshole because you sleep in my motherfucking beds. It's crazy. This lady says, I took this man before, cut the fuck up. He zelled me. He lived in Berkeley and literally jumped on the front of my car and begged me. What? Now he's a serial car getting into her. <laughs> oh, man. Next story, though. So this woman says she do make her so good, she done turned the bitch into Carisha. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Wow. No. Look at the nose. The nose is different. That must be that contour. That must be that contour. So Chit say no bullshit. This the shit men be talking about. These are two different people. I we say going to sleep with Carisha and waking up to Charlemagne is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not trying to go to sleep talking about some goddamn yam, then wake up trying to figure out who the donkey today. I am not trying to do that shit. Next story though. But at the same damn time, you motherfucking niggas be acting like y'all so high and mighty, but low key, y'all ain't got no standards. I know about y'all niggas. I heard about y'all niggas and I seen y'all niggas in action. So this is the main Example. This one put is this not sexual assault? Let's watch this video right here. Can you please get up? He got big mama on him. I'm Look at him. Get, let me roll the weed. I gotta do something. The, the, the caption, hold on. The caption say, "Told bro, we had a two tens on a two man." Can you please get up? I'm just trying to get. Let me roll the weed. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Here. No. What? No. <laughs> Look at Polo G. Look at Polo G. Um, Larry Hoover Gray. You told me, kid. You never just kiss me. Is you cool? Are you cool? Don't ever in your life Don't tell make me that, that decision again. You'll be eating ass. Fuck out of here. What does she mean by that? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Just fuck out of here, like, stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> Damn, Polo G. Can you please? All right, let's look at some reactions, man. So you see the shit say it's just not sexual assault. Is you cool? Bro, is she not embarrassed? I just got a secondhand embarrassment from this. OMG, lock her ass up. And he young nigga cause Larry Hoover ain't dead. Why she did Polo G like that? Exactly, man. Take one for the team, bro, on Larry Hoover. Um, but at the same damn time, on the, at the same time, I know y'all been seeing me pass that pass by these things. Then what is this? Well, we're gonna find out what that is. I feel like more you right now, Jerry. Well, we're gonna find out just what that is. You nasty niggas. I ain't gonna say nasty, cause you know, she don't look like she's ugly. She just she she got a lot of weight on. All right. God damn, being politically correct is tough. So this is the woman. She is on Facebook saying this right here. Let's make it clear. That nigga love me. Y'all see one thing and drag it to the next, to the max. Just because I'm big don't mean I ain't got to work to my ass. So this is a series of text messages that this dude act like he ain't rocking with in front of the homies on camera. So this is him saying, I'm just laying down drinking tea. How about you? She said, land with the baby. Can you send me our videos? I want to watch them for show at my snap, blah, blah, blah. I already did. Hold up. Send me the videos. And this is dumb. It look like they doing some, they may be doing some things. You love how I don't play around with you. Literally. Uh, yes, I do. And so definitely waiting for me to nut in you. 
He says, when you suck my slap, I was lost, nervous, scared, because that ish was beyond amazing, crazy. We the same. I don't like hair because I never come. I turned you to a water fountain with my face between them tasteful thighs. Hey, everybody. I'm Destiny. I'm the girl from the viral two-man video. And so for starters, um, I just want to put out there, it was not his first time here. There was no type of two-man thing. I was here doing my friend's hair. He called, wanted to come over. His friend was his only ride here and back home. So the friend had to stay at my house, even though I said no. He was calling me. Um, I didn't answer the first call. He called me again, didn't answer. He called me again, so I answered. Um, I thought something was wrong. I didn't know what was wrong. Um, he was talking about, oh, he was drunk. He was drunk. And... He didn't, he didn't want to stay where he was at or he didn't want to be where he was at. So just let him come over. He just wants to come see me and spend time with me and blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know, okay, I'm doing somebody here, but you can come over. He's done with my friend's hair. They get here. I put my son to sleep. Um, I lay my son down and me and him is in the room. And my son was crying. I jumped up like I had never jumped up before. And I ran in the room to go get him because why is my baby crying? I go in the room to check on my son. He's red hot sweating throwing up throw up everywhere just coming out coming out coming out i'm like oh, okay like i'm freaking out like like i gotta take my baby to the hospital i'm getting take, getting ready to take my baby to the hospital my friend's still here she's like okay i'll come with you guys i'll take you so as we're getting ready he decides that he's gonna jump up and go all around and and, and scream and, and and act like a bitch um punching the walls no hall no holes in the walls weak ass punches um walking around kicking my door slamming the door oh my god oh my god screaming oh my god just because he couldn't get no like what so i took my baby to the hospital um after i took my son to the hospital they say you know um it could be a stomach bug blah blah, blah. they gave him some medicine and we came home when we got here they were still here the friend was laying on my couch he was in my bed he was in my bed sleep i come back i, I give my baby give him some juice and lay down with him in my bed I lay down with him, and he's trying to sit here and tell me I can't have my son in my bed. Nigga, is you cool? Fuck out of here. Trying to put my baby to sleep. He's steady tapping me, tapping me, destiny, destiny, destiny. Steady tapping me, trying to make me stay up with him so I can give him head. Oh, can you just touch me? Can you just suck it? Can you just fuck? Can we just fuck? Can we just fuck? And um, I'm sitting there telling him, like, is you stupid? Like, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I'm steady saying, get out, get out, get out, get out. He don't want to leave. He don't want to leave. I'm not trying to, like, like do too, too much. Like, so I just leave it be. Um, he's, he ended up going in the living room. My baby ended up falling asleep. I go put him in his bed, and I come in here and lay down. He comes out of the living room to come in my room just to tell me that he want to fuck, and I'm sitting here tired. It's 7 in the fucking morning, and I'm tired. <sighs> We're just going back and forth, arguing, arguing, arguing. He wouldn't let me go to sleep, so I get to messing with him. I get to hitting him with the pillow, punching him in his head, kicking him, trying to fight him in the kitchen. He walking around with my pink slides on. Pink. Pink slides on. So I put on his bent-up-ass blue um fives, and I get to walking around, bending them, stomping around in them, trying to kick him in them. And, yeah, that was that. And I sat on his lap, and we was talking. Everything was cool. We was just talking like regular. Um And... Out of nowhere, he switched like that. Like, it was like a light switch. And I didn't even know that the boy behind me was recording. Um, but now that I see, you know, that's, that might have been, like, why he, why he like, switched up like how he did. So, I guess he get a little bit of attention from social media and feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, he embarrassed or something? Like, and everybody in the comments acting like they fucking know me. Like, just because a bitch big don't mean the bitch out here bad. Fuck out of here. If I want to walk in my motherfucking house where I pay rent at looking fucking crazy, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to tell and I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. All you people on here act like y'all so perfect and y'all just know me and y'all know who I am. And y'all just got so much to say about me and don't even know me. Like, get the fuck out of here. Then y'all trying to argue with me over this bitch ass nigga that don't got no fucking money. No fucking money, no car, no house, still living with his mammy, like. Hey, bro, I heard skinny niggas love big chicks, bro. Y'all be the perfect number 10. How we do it? 10? What's way? 10? Perfect 10? Boom. Perfect 10. Perfect 10. You could do what you want to do with your meat, bro. Have your fun. Fuck what we think. What you fuck don't make me come. I don't care, bro. Have your fun, bro. Next story though. So check this shit out right here. Let me make this. <laughs> check this out right here, bro. Imagine this. All right. 
So this say gay niggas look normal and fuck these days. I went on a nigga date by accident. <laughs> what the fuck is a nigga date? All right. So this dude say, what? He says, nigga. A nigga always came to my job. He seemed cool. He works at a bar. He kept inviting me. I went. Nigga said, what made you finally let me take you out for drinks? Like, bro, I will unalive you. Yo, could you imagine? You think you about to have a, a new homie? And he say, yeah, I'm a bartender. Come hang out with me, man. Woody, woody, woo. Come to my club. Woody, woody, woo. And you pulling up thinking y'all about to go link and look for the hoes. You find out that you the hoe. That's crazy. Bro said, wait a minute. <laughs> Where the hoes at? Good brother with the lemon drop. You are the hoes. <laughs> Hey man, next story though. So drunk lady falls through the door while talking to the cops. He broke out my window. Which one? Man, look, I'm so mad. Are you okay, <laughs> She's so mad. Do you need help getting up? No. Are you able to get up on your own? Yes. Okay. Do you want to get up on me, yes. please? I will. Just so I know you're I okay. Will. I'm okay. I know, but I, I don't feel comfortable with you laying on the ground like that. I don't want to get out. <laughs> I want to lay down. I'm mad, Nick. Why are you mad? I'm mad, Nick. Nick. Call Tiki. I just got out of jail. Okay. This time, I would suggest opening the door. <laughs> I will. Okay. I'm 60. I'm not 30. Okay. Show me that you can stand up. I will. Valerie. <laughs> Valerie, can you just go inside, please? So that we can, we can roll out and you There's don't have to go over the jail. Nobody else here at the house to take care of you. I don't Thank you. Nobody. You just fell through a door. Normal people don't <laughs> fall through doors. That's the first thing, time I've seen that in my entire 24 year career. <laughs> I don't need nobody. <laughs> I'm glad that they was patient with her. I, I, I'm so glad because she's at her home. She's ripped. I'm glad that they were patient with her and they did not try to do too, too much to her, bro. Next story though. So down here it says, how did you find out your ex was cheating on you? Indulge me. So this says, check her flow app after she returned from a trip and saw this. So everything that has a heart on it is a day that she had sex. So this is when she returned from the trip. Every single day she was going for the weekend, she was getting that coochie busted open. Good God. Next story though. So this lady says right here, black men, please, I beg you, be a mentor. These boys out here are hurting. They need you. But this person says, um, how come the fathers or your children never match the type of mentors you want for them? And this lady says, because the mentors we want for our children be having whack dick. I tried dating a community leader once. His dick didn't match his message. And this tweet comes up once again. Deep down inside, I know the black community can't be saved. But it hurts my feelings to accept it. She's right, though, at a, at a sense, because look how we treat our OGs. Look how we treat our OGs, man. So Unk is going viral for this right here. Check this out right here. Hey, I, I ain't fresh. I ain't fresh. You're not fresh, no. <laughs> At all. No, sir. What happened to the game I loved? We can't wear polo no more. I come from a time with Trick Daddy on the song, the best thing he got on some shit. He like hell no, nah, hold these polo. Like that, that's my, that's my, that's my lifetime, man. But lo and behold, lucky to all the former young niggas like me and you, they are holding Unk down on social media. So this person right here says, no cap since yesterday, this shit been hurting my feelings more and more. Every time I see it, I see the hurt in his face. And OG really got that shit on, man. Robert Little from BSO says, Unk was supposed to wear fake design and skinny jeans to Whataburger? We are doomed as a society. They want Unk to dress like this and do the little Uzi. They want Unk to do the Uzi shoulder roll on these motherfuckers dress Dress zesty. What's wrong with his fit? I thought it was age appropriate. I don't know. It was, baby girl. Social media will make you second guess your own natural thoughts, bro. What the hell are we doing? This nigga clean, timeless fit. All brands that have stood the test of time. Ralph Lauren, Levi, New Balance. Good money. Hey, man. Good money, bro. And yeah, Whataburger with the matching strikes, bro. Okay, so we stumbled across a part two. 
Let's see what it do. No, fresh. sir. Fuck y'all. Hey, I don't know what's going on. Tell her stop playing with you. Nah, I'm recording you because you fresh, bro. Stop playing with you. Poppy. 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 Tell her what's up. Tell her what's up. Who you buying food for? Who the other drink for? Go ahead. I already paid for it. Just send me the money. I'm trying to tell you. Every time. 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 Some her back. So he, he, he he's roasting somebody else. He's roasting somebody else off screen. But a person that's recording don't really think he not that fresh because they matchy matchy just like him. I learned that people that's super fashion wise, um, they don't like people matchy matchy with clothes and colors and stuff. I realized, bro, I, 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 I aged out of fashion. I aged out, bro. I'm just going to get in shape. I'm just going to get muscles, and I'm going to rock out like that. Like, I'm just going to look good. <laughs> That's all I could do because sometimes I just don't know what to do no more, bro. They found the guy, and they said, you was clean. What they look like while they were talking about you. So he gave a full rundown. He said, it started on the inside. Two studs and a femme girl. The one stud I got into it with for not minding her business had on some dusted ass pants that was too big. No belt with her hands grabbing her cross like she had one. She was sagging with some rainbow looking drawers on. Her hair was a dirty blonde greenish looking color with a tank top on. The femme girl stocking cap was showing with glue in her head with a South Pole looking jacket on. The one recording had some Jordans on but they looked kind of old and it was the same color of her jacket burgundy color. I ate they ass up inside. I caught myself and told them they were some kids. They followed me outside, still talking about my clothes, so I was um, like, I ain't fresh. They made it look like I was trying to get validation when we was going back and forth on the inside. They cut the video short to their liking. Okay, so they found a chick that was on recording Unk, and they been on her ass, boy. Y'all folks is really mad. I'm talking about mad mad. And I don't give a fuck. At all. No, sir. Stay mad. Cause I don't care. Y'all folks done got me banned from the live. I'm trying to interact with my fans with my favorite jacket on. On me. So this her drip right here. Y'all rate her drip. Like I told y'all, bruh. I feel like I aged out of fashion. These two decent fits. I would say these two decent fits. That one I don't really know so much about. Of. It ain't fresher than Unk. I ain't gonna lie. But Unk is speaking to the people. See what he gotta say. But what I did like though, when I was reading, I seen everybody riding with me. I said, oh, they done messed up now. Boy, y'all, oh my God, y'all went in on them. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, at first I ain't like it, but I, I liked it now. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, everything happened for a reason. See, I'm a praying man too, so. And I acknowledge God, so look. Look what got me. I'm anointed one, you hear me? Who I bought the water burger for? Now, I got some kids around here, some uh, neighbors. I be, you know, looking out. So I'm saying, though, Sally, what's to you? Boy, that feel weak as hell. What you mean? That shit ugly as fuck. What you talking, this? Yes, look at those shoes. That don't even go with your shirt. You might not know how to coordinate, baby. Baby blue? Baby Blue, you ever heard of Pretty Ricky? Boy, I don't get no fuck. That shit weak as hell. Sally, you don't know what you're talking about. 115 for the polo tee. Boy, this, that shit weak. This that straight, shit fake. This straight out of Young Dro closet. What are you talking about? Choin, yoin, yoin, yoin. You know Young Dro? You I don't, don't know no fashion. Look what you got on. You got on sheen. I don't get no fuck. That's a two dollar outfit, baby. At least I ain't wearing shit fake. What's fake? Your shirt. Baby, this Ralph. This ain't no Usma. This ain't no Beverly Hills. You got me fucked up. Man, and I was just gonna buy you support to I don't need that shit anyways. I don't need no nigga baby shit with a weak fit anyways. So I ain't fresh? Hell no. I ain't fresh? No. For real? <laughs> no. Cap. That shit ugly. What's wrong with polo? Get out my face with that weak ass But what's wrong with polo though? I don't like that. 
That's what I'm talking about. So y'all, y'all got the game messed up. This for my, hey, I'm 35, baby. I'm, I'm, this what I grew up on. Young Joe, you, you tripping. How I'm putting up this summer? Look at it, like for sure, for sure. Look at the fit, look at the fit. The tee, the shoes, and the damn jeans. Just like that, straight like that. Next story though. Okay, so Keith Lee linked with Cardi B, but he wants it to be known that he not gonna be doing this with much more celebrities in the future. Check this out right here. Start there. I, I think I can't even have a conversation without saying Cardi B wanted them. From the bottom of my heart, she wanted them. She wanted them. Uh. But I do want to say, this is not about to be a recurring thing. I think I said this before, but I'll say it again because I feel like now, because I was with Cardi B, that it's going to be like a, oh, he needs to go eat with a bunch of celebrities and go eat food, and this should be a series. I'm a family man. I stay in the house. I don't really talk to people, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm a house being. I be chilling. I'm very introverted. Uh, I still have social anxiety very bad. Uh, I do a, a really good job of... Uh, well, I like to think I do a really good job of, of masking it and dealing with it and just going throughout my day. Uh, my family really helps me a lot with that. Uh, praying a lot helps me a lot with that. But for the most part, I'm a very introverted, housebody kind of person. I told her before we even did anything, I only do videos with friends. It's not like a, hey, you Cardi B, I'm Keith Lee. We should do something together. I'll never do that. Never have, never will, never going to. We sat on the phone, we chopped it up. We chopped it up for like 20, 30 minutes. We chopped it up. Uh, my family was super excited. My family went to meet her. She met all my family. And when I say she met all my family, my mama, my mom-in-law, my kids, she met everybody. Like literally to the point where she was like, where your family at? Like, why you ain't bring your family? And I was like, I just thought we was coming to chill. And she was like, what? Bring your family up here. Like right now, <laughs> like she was cool. She was literally the definition of what you think she is. That's exactly who she is. She's exactly what she says she is. I've been seeing these Bodak Carbonero flavor noodles all over TikTok, all over social media. And I drove 30 minutes, was a measure of me, to a H Mart so I could finally get it. I got it. Let's try it. Everyone's one to 10. Let's rate it one to 10. I'll be honest, I don't mean no harm. I don't have no malicious intent. I know people like this and people eat it, but my personal opinion. Our personal opinion. Our personal opinion. I ain't gonna cut it no other way. I am excited. I've seen it. I've seen it so many times. times. How spicy would you say it is? On a spice from one to ten. Uh, it's like a twenty. Uh, it's going like that cook. Mm. 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 How long do you cook it for? When it's done. Until it's done. Until it's done. Five minutes later. They're really, really, really dry. So we can put the milk. Just a little bit of milk. That, that little bit, that little bit, that little bit. I've never seen it made before, so I'm gonna just take the, the back seat. Mozzarella cheese. Okay, and now we're gonna. A little bit more? Okay. Or let me back out. See, that's why I said let me take the back seat. Because <laughs> I ain't seen it ever before. You good? <laughs> then this is the carbonara flavor that everybody's been raging about the carbonara powder stuff. So I'm scared. <laughs> There's the sauce. Not too much because then it's gonna. I wanna taste the carbonara part sure. more. Okay, now you miss it. You miss it. I ain't gonna lie, I do love that sound. <laughs> <laughs> that look crazy. That looks crazy. That looks, where's my fork? Uh. That look crazy. Where's my fork? Ready? See that? Cheers. Cheers. Maybe it's the milk. It's like overly creamy to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a person who really likes milk. So that's the first thing I taste with. I do like carbonara, but that's spicy. <laughs> I can only imagine packet. putting that whole Put in the whole packet. It's in my nose, it's in the back of my throat. But it's not bad. It's not terrible. What did you get? Probably like a, a six, five. I'm at a six, three. It's in my nose. Like I have a sneeze, but I am not sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like up in here. I also can see it being better if you yeah. make it right though. Like if you make it, Right. Right. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. God bless you. Have an amazing day. God be safe. <laughs> All right, guys. So you guys know how I feel about LA food. It's not my favorite, but um, I got a good recommendation about this place. It's called Easy Street Burgers. I'm from New York, so burgers is like one of my main things. So I got it. Let's try it and rate it. You know what? Since this person recommended this place, if I don't like it, I want to tell them in their face that I don't like it. So let me just bring them in. 
God is amazing. I got it. Let's try it. Rated one to ten. That's rated one to ten. That's and I'm gonna let you know right now, like I'm like a real big burger expert. So if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you in your face. Please be honest. I'm gonna I'm be gonna honest. Say Please be honest. Okay. Literally, if it's not a ten, you say. Okay, it's okay. Not a no, because it's like I do eat a lot of burgers, and then I just came from Colombia, mm -hmm. and I feel like I ate like the best burgers that I ever tasted in my life over there. So I let's see if it. I'm excited. Let's see if it can. <laughs> let's do it. It is smashed. Um, I do like how like the 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 bread quality is like smashed. Everything is like. It looks like a fancier Shake Shack. Let's see. What do you think? I like it because it tastes like a chopped cheese. Mmm, mmm. I can see that. Wow. Yeah, I can see that. Seconds is crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She said, mm-hmm. I do give it a nine. Now this is the one I gave a 10. This is the bacon grill onion burger. This looks really good. It looks really loaded. Girl, I'm about to join in with you. I like this one better. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I give this one like a, a seven. Like the bacon. I mean, you gotta be a bacon lover. Like the bacon is like too much. This one is perfect. Like I got no complaints about this one. As a bacon lover, that's why I gave this a 10. But somebody like who love jalapenos, Everybody tastes like different. A jalapeno and a burger is like a treat. Shout out to Easy Shit Burgers. Shout out to Cardi. I'm just thankful to be here. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> that's one of them. Hey, man. Shout out to Keith Lee. Taking his status to that point, and um, I, I covered a video on um, Keith Lee and Cardi B before. They did crazy numbers, and I just want to go ahead and do a full circle moment with them actually together because they, at one point, were talking about the, the Atlanta restaurants. And now they're actually together. So I think it's a great full circle moment that we all can experience together. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. But before we get up out of here, though, one more wholesome moment of the day. We are getting so advanced when it comes to technology. Check this out right here. Can you explain what you, now what is this again? Yeah, so it's a full, it's a full robotic arm. Like there's an AI chip in here. Mm -hmm. And then this like attaches to like the remainder of my arm. It's like a, it's almost like a socket, sock it slides on. Wow. And then there's a, there's a sensors and stuff in here that reads the signals and nerves in my arm that the Ooh. surgeons remapped. So like me thinking about opening and closing, like I'm using the same like nerves and stuff. Oh, all right, I thought I lost you. Wow. Uh, yep, you ready so. to check out or you yes. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing, elbow going up, elbow going down. That's it's all crazy. the same, same nerves. Like when I'm thinking about elbow up. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Down, AI is amazing, bro. open and close. And then I had um, uh, the company that built it for me, like I told him like, I wanted it to look like straight up like robotic cyberpunk. <laughs> like, I ain't, I didn't get the silicone skin or any of that stuff. Like, I wanted it because I thought it looked tough. So, I appreciate that, yeah, man. man. Let me just take a little close up. Well, yeah, man. That these thing things crazy, exist, man. man. They, they exist. exist. Can you explain what you. I'm glad he's happy with where he's at in life. That, like, hey, man, can't take that away from him, bro.